Derita, derita, derita. Stop, stop, stop. Ok, ok. Hop, 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 hop. No le mueva. Las paragus. Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie, and welcome back to my channel. So in the video today, I wanted to discuss study resources that I use for my ER rotation. So for my ER rotation, uh, you have. Uh, your EOR, your end of rotation exam, which is on the last day of your clinical rotation, usually on a Friday. And then you have your OSCE, which is basically an exam where you have a fake patient and you go in and you're required to take a history and physical from the patient, do a physical exam, uh, properly diagnose and treat the patient and provide appropriate patient education depending on the diagnosis or the chief complaint and you have a professor there grading you. So I just want to talk about what I use to study for both of these. Now the end of rotation exams are very very hard in comparison to my exams during my didactic year. They require I think a higher level of critical thinking which I think is great because they're preparing you to take the pants and the end of rotation exams are not written by your program but they're questions that are written by the PAEA at a national level. So basically, you have everyone that is in PA school, all the PA programs that takes these exams, the same exams for the rotations um, that are written by the same people. So it's the same questions, you're taking the same questions, etc. You go onto the website, PAEA website, and you look up um, EOR rotations, and it'll give you each rotation and it'll give you a topic list. So on the topic list, depending on which rotation, um, sometimes some of them are five, six pages long. I think the shortest one is like two pages, which is like psychiatry. Um, but it'll tell you the topic list and it'll go basically by the organ systems. It'll say cardiovascular, um, GI, and it'll give you the topics. Some of the topics are very, very specific. Like it'll say Crohn's disease, or they can be very, very vague, like abdominal pain or nausea, which can be so many things. So when it comes down to that, you have to make sure you have a lot of differentials in your mind when you're coming to study for that complaint, like nausea. And what I would do is that I would study the guide. So of course I would make sure I downloaded the guide and I would go through each topic and just make sure that I check it off and I know what I'm studying. Also podcasts, I really enjoy listening to podcasts. So for those of you who are auditory listeners, I really recommend podcasts like EM Clerkship or Total EM, which I will add the um, links below. I really re really recommend them. They're free. You can find them on iTunes and um, they're awesome for those of you who have to drive. Like if you have to drive long to your rotations, like 20 minutes back and forth, for example, it's already 40 minutes. And if you're listening to this concept over and over again, then it's great. And I know with my ER doctor that I had for my ER rotation, I, he pimped me a lot. And Sometimes when I had to commute about 15 to 20 minutes and I would listen on a certain topic, by the time I got there and he had pimped me on something, I already knew how to answer that question because I had already listened to a podcast prior. So they're really, really helpful. I usually would just download the ones that are significant to whatever was on the list for the EOR. So I really, really recommend this podcast for also for those of you who like to run, like to work out, you know, just like to walk outside, walk your dog. So you can listen to these podcasts and at the same time study. So I really, really recommend this. So podcasts were some of the things that I did. Also, I purchased the PAEA um, uh, end of rotation exam book. So I'll add a link below also. I bought it on Amazon. I think it was around 60 bucks, but my classmates said that the price range tend to fluctuate between 40, 60, 80. It just depends what time of the year you buy it. But this is what I use for my ER. One of the downfalls about this book though is that you have to be flipping back and forth, which I didn't like. So you get to, it's the book is divided by each rotation. And when you get to the ER, like the first page will say you, oh, will tell you, hey, you wanna go and know more information about cardiovascular disease, switch to page 274 or 374. And you're just having to switch back and forth versus just reading the book thoroughly and not having to rotate back and forth switch back and forth between pages so that's one of the downfalls but that's what I use um, I like it but just one of the downfalls for it is just you have to switch back and forth I also really recommend osmosis um, especially if you're a visual person like I am I'm a, a visual person and I have to see pictures and etc in order for me to understand the information if I read it it doesn't 
it doesn't stick as much as if I see it in the video. So I really, really recommend Osmosis. Osmosis, and I will add a link below. So Osmosis is pretty awesome because they have a section just for clinical rotations, and it has emergency medicine, and it has OB-GYN, surgery, psychiatry, etc. And you can go to the link on their website, and it'll have videos with just basically the pathophysiology, um, how the patient is going to present symptoms, the diagnosis, and how you're going to treat it. And it'll have it for the very common things that are on the on your EOR list. So it'll have, for example, cardiovascular, it'll have uh, trauma, and it'll have pulmonary embolism, etc. So I really, really enjoy the videos. They tend to be around 15 to 20 minutes long, um, but they are very, very thorough. And what I would do is I'll usually just screenshot and take pictures of them and just add them to my notes while I'm studying. So osmosis, I really, really recommend. I also really, I also recommend online med ed. Um, it's really, really good. It's about 40 bucks per month. And I think the individual, the doctor, the educator, he does a really good job of explaining the diseases and they also have it set up by rotation. So it'll have emergency medicine and you can also see the diseases that are very, very common and um, some of the very, very common topics that are there. So I really, really recommend also, those are the ones that I used and also practice questions, guys. I can't say that enough. It's really important for you to keep practicing over and over and over again, whether it's through flashcards. So flashcards, I also used osmosis. What I did is that I went through the topic list and I Google, I searched in their flashcard bank and I, it, it is time consuming, but it's worth it in the end. And I just added ver the complaints that were on there or the topics that were on there. And I just searched the flashcards and added them and just created a flashcard deck. At the end, I think it was like about more than a thousand flashcards. But I mean, if you're doing them every day, then you get rid of the flashcards pretty quickly. So I really, really recommend the Osmosis flashcards. Also for questions, like I said, and quizzing yourself, I really recommend Smarty Pants. Smarty Pants is really good and I always recommend it for didactic year and clinical year. For clinical year, they have, I think they have like three exams for um, your ER rotation, EOR rotation exam. And these questions are usually pulled from previous exams that the PAEA committee has made. So you're able to see what type of questions they're gonna ask and basically like what critical, what level of critical thinking they ask it at. So I really, really recommend and most of them have, almost all of them have explanations. On some of them, they'll have like a verbal explanation saying why the answer was correct, etc. But I really, really recommend their questions because the more questions you see, the better. It's all about repetition, guys. It's all about repetition. So another also thing that I recommend is going to be Rosh Review. So Rosh Review is amazing. I love Rosh Review. It's just, I really, really recommend it. It's very expensive though, to be honest with you guys. I purchased it for two years. I paid around $400, but that was with a discount because a lot of people from my program signed up. So for those of you who are in a program with a lot of students, you get group discounts up to sometimes 20, 25%, 30%, depending on how many people sign up for it. So we did it as a group and we got a good discount and I paid $400 for two years, which is not bad at all because I think the regular price was like $500 for two years. So I saved about 100 bucks and I really recommend it. It's a lot of questions, practice questions also. And they also have exams just geared for whatever your rotation you're in. And I like these questions because it'll go through each question and I'll actually show pictures and I'll add them so you can see them. But it'll have the question and it'll tell you um, why the answer is correct, but it'll have like a picture. So if you're a visual person like I am, when I was taking my exam, I actually remember the picture that popped up in uh, Rush Review. So I was able to answer these questions. And if you're having these questions that have the same answer or kind of like the same topic and you're seeing this question over and over again, now you know how to answer it. And that's what happened with me is that I was seeing these topics so oftenly and so commonly that by the time uh, it came around to the exam, I already knew what was what was uh, the answer. 
whether it was a diagnosis, a treatment, the symptoms, the pathology, pathophysiology, etc. So I really, really recommend Roche Review also for your ER um, end of rotation exam. So I really recommend that. And in regards, regards to your OSCE, it's all about practice, guys. Me and my classmates practice over and over again, back and forth. If they weren't available, I talked to myself in the mirror. So I would usually just put a pillow that was a fake patient and I would practice like I was doing doing a cardiovascular exam or doing an abdominal exam and or a uh, or your OSCE. I don't know how many times I practice. Usually I would take Saturday and Sunday and just practice all day back and forth until I felt comfortable. And it made such a huge difference guys because I um, I did so well on my OSCEs. Um, so I really, really recommend just practicing, practicing, practicing. But yeah, these are my tools that I use for my uh, end of rotation exams for ER. So I will add them below. So it's a podcast. It's osmosis. So osmosis videos and their flashcards. Um, it's also um, online med, med ed, which I really, really recommend. They have great videos. And also rush review for your practice questions and smarty pants for your practice questions. So they're just amazing and it's all about repetition so how i would split it up is that you have five weeks for each rotation the first three weeks i would spend time learning the information i mean you've already learned it during your didactic year but sometimes it's been a year since you especially for example for me i took cardiovascular in october so it had already been about a year because i had in september my emergency medicine um, EOR. So it was almost a year since I had learned cardiovascular. So I had to go back and relearn the information and learn it more in depth. And some of the things that they taught me in my didactic year um, were not on the exam. Or sometimes I didn't learn stuff during my didactic year that I had to learn by myself because they were on the exam. So you're learning new things also. So that's why the first weeks I spent time relearning the information, um, making sure I know it. And the last two weeks, I spent time quizzing myself, just doing flashcards and also doing questions, 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 questions. That way I knew where my weakness was. So cardiovascular is my weakness, so I made sure that I spent more time on cardiovascular. GI is one of my strong, so I make sure that I also spend time, but not as much time on cardiovascular. So that way it helps you see what your weakness spots are. But yes, guys, so that's what I really recommend. I'm gonna add all the links below, um, that way you can uh, check it out for yourself most of them do have like a week or a month free trial that you can try it out to see if you like it and if you like it you can keep it if not you can cancel it i know it's a lot of money but it's really worth it in the end all right guys thanks for watching my videos and i will talk to you guys later bye